Hello everyone, that is tuning in to today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Dave Cam will take us to the 8th of July. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Great runs around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets into the last stages of uh, July. I'll get on that for you in a moment just to say about the first video today was our 6 a.m uk weather forecast and we've also released the extended usa forecast well check out those two feeds if you'd like to do that like share subscribe on videos thank you so much everybody for doing that now i'm sure you're wondering why we have got an upload here for 10 to 14 day and not a live stream as we would normally have um, on a Wednesday, we'd normally live stream at 10 to 14 there between 6 and 7 p.m. The reason is I'll give myself a night off. So <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to go and see Sir Rod Stewart tonight, who is playing Franklin's Gardens in Northampton, um, the home of the Saints, of course. And um, and so, you know, I just very spontaneously, I didn't know when I got up this morning, but I'll be, I'll, <laughs> I'll be off to see uh, Rod. So, um, you know, I just very spontaneously, I heard on the radio, I chatted about it on, on the radio this morning, and uh, I thought, well, I'll have a look and see whether there's any tickets left, and it turned out there were a couple, probably from cancellations, I would have thought. Um, and yeah, so I've got a ticket, and, uh, and I'm off. I'm, <laughs> I'm off to see Rod Stewart tonight, so I'll have a night off. That means there won't be a 6am UK weather forecast tomorrow morning, if that's okay, everybody. So I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a full night off. I'm going to enjoy myself tonight. I might even have a couple of glasses, you know, <laughs> if there's any being served. But um, no, it's going to be, it's going to be a nice night. Mrs. P love Rod Stewart. She saw him a lot in the uh, 80s and 90s, and she always said he was one of the best live acts, you know. But she saw, so I suppose he'll be slowed down a lot from then. But um, but yeah, you know, I, I think he'll still be putting on a good show, hopefully. I bet he can still rock. I bet rock can still rock. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight, and that means there's no live stream, which also means that uh, we've got to do the uh, 10 to 14 day as a video. And it also means I can't give a shout out to lovely Mark on the live stream tonight. So I'm going to do it now. It's uh, Mark Kanish's birthday, so happy birthday, my friend. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely birthday. And uh, I'm so sorry that I can't, you know, shout you out in the live stream um, tonight, but I'm shouting you out now. And on Sunday's live stream, next live stream will be at 6 p.m. on Sunday. Sunday live streams are returning. Um, we're moving the Monday live stream back to Sunday. So, so uh, next live is Sunday at 6 p.m. And um, and I'll shout you out on that as well, Mark. But I'm doing your birthday shout out on your day with this video. So I hope you're having a lovely, lovely birthday, my friends. If everybody in the comments can wish uh, Mark a happy birthday, that'd be absolutely fantastic. You have a great day, my friend. Okay, let's get on with your 10 to 14 day event. And uh, then I'll have to get myself ready, won't I, for my night uh, my, for my night out. Um, right, we're going to start our section in terms of a scene. CT is currently sitting at 17 degrees, which is 2.5 degrees above 61 to 99 average, average at the visual yes, to 27. Remember, 1976 is 16.9. It used to be 17.0, but they shaved 0.1 of a degree off it to take it down 16.9 when they did the revised CT list. At least last year. So uh, the question is, will we be able to maintain 17.0 in the last couple of days of a month, or will that go down to 16.9 and equal 1976? It's going to be a very exciting finish. Uh, right, okay, so uh, these are the GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Northampton, starting off warmer than average at the moment. The upper air temperatures will then be uh, coming down, they'll be lowering. Uh, a little bit over the next 24 hours. So that's what I'm just, just wondering. Will that slight lowering that we see there, um, will that scupper staying at 17 degrees? It's got to be a very, very close finish. Um, and then after that, actually, we go through the first uh, week or so of July, we actually go even cooler than that, even go even further below average. So quite a, quite a cool start to uh, July by the look of it. Into the second week of the month, though, we probably get a little bit of a recovery in those upper air temperatures starting to take place. You'll notice that the thick green line, which is the GFS 6N operational run, 
takes off and becomes really quite warm in its latter stages. So uh, possibly we're going to see some hotter weather by the time we get into the second week of July because that's a long way off its extended range. The control branch, is this thick blue light, is going in the same direction though. Uh, possibly the next sort of hotter spell will start sometime around the 8th, 9th of July. We'll have to wait to see about that. Precipitation-wise, uh, so there is going to be some wet weather coming up over the next 24 hours, and uh, then we will find things going drier um, for the last day or so of the month into the weekend. It's looking a little bit drier, but as we pick up into next week, then it turns more unsettled again, actually. It becomes more unsettled through next week with quite a lot of precipitation spikes. Temperature normally is should be 28th of June to 6th of July, around to a little bit below average. Precipitation anomalies from the 28th of June to 6th of July, wetter than average in the north, drier than average down in the south. The latest wind from that from earthnoldschool.net shows that uh, we're still drawing in wind from off the Atlantic today. And there's a weather system that's pushing eastwards uh, as well along the uh, westerly winds. So, um, you know, we've got low pressure up here, got low pressure there. And this front, although relatively weak at, at the moment, will actually intensify a little bit over Overnight could bring some much needed and useful rain to the parch gardens of the south and the southeast. Right, let's go through the chart data then. This our latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on uh, on Saturday. Low pressure in the Atlantic, bringing the wind uh, from a west or northwest. That could bring in showers, especially so to more northern west. There's possibly some longer spells of rain. As well into the weekend, it's basically a showery west northwesterly. Most showers will be in the north, probably not too many down in the south. On into the uh, middle of next week, well, low pressure increasingly sinks in then from the Atlantic. So, middle of next week, looking we really quite unsettled as this area of low pressure will bring more persistent spells of rain with it. And that's as far as we get with the UK back to uh, Wednesday, the 5th of July. I can't, again, with winds coming in from the north, coming in, I should say, from the northwest on Saturday. It brings some uh, showers with it. And then on into the early part of next week, again, low pressure is in the Atlantic, pushing in, uh, bringing further showers, if not some longer spells of rain as well. Quite cool temperatures too. It does look as though uh, we'll have a bit of a cool spell through the uh, to middle part next week with these west to north westerly winds. The GFS midnight run, again, with uh, this northwesterly flow becoming established for Saturday, bringing showers with it, particularly to the north and west. That looks quite unsettled, doesn't it, for the beginning of next week. That low probably bring more persistent spells of rain into Scotland. I think in the south, probably not too much of that wet weather getting through until around the middle part of the week, middle to the last part of the week, when this area of low pressure would bring persistent spells of rain across all parts of the country. Obviously, it's a little way off, devil's in the detail of that sort of, sort of um, coming in midweek, like UK Met has it, or whether it's not coming until Thursday, Friday, but, you know, sometime, sometime through the middle to the last stages of next week, looks unsettled with low pressure in control. And then beyond that, we see the low pressure shifting away to the east as we go into the weekend of the 8th of the 9th of July with winds coming in from more of a northerly direction so turning quite cool and showery there before high pressure starts ridging up from the Azores as we go further on into the second week of July bringing some drier and warmer weather to the south but the northwest still looking a little bit on the unsettled side. The GFS 6 then again with wind in from a uh, showery northwesterly on Saturday and then on into the early part of next week we keep the wind in from the northwest that will bring further showers in with it. And then the second half next week, see this area of low pressure in the Atlantic, just keeping the rather mixed thing going. However, this time, the low pressure starts to stall out in the Atlantic with a ridge building over France and Germany. That's up to bring up some hotter air from the south. That's day 10, Saturday the 8th of July, and the GFS 6 uh, starting to bring some warmth up from the south. But it all looks rather volatile, I have to say. The upper air temperatures are lifting up, plus 15 cells iceberg into the southeast, probably gets the temperature to 30 degrees, but it looks volatile. Tile that it looks like it sort of thing will spark off heavy showers, probably thunderstorms, and also some uh, longer spells of rain. Beyond that, we find that the low pressure begins to drift away to the east as higher pressure starts to head in from off the Atlantic, possibly turning things just a little bit uh, drier 
as we get up towards mid-month. And it's a bit cooler as well with winter coming in from the northwest direction. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment as to what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gal's World Visit. We thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Okay, GM, again, with those showery northwest winds on Saturday. And then on into uh, Sunday and Monday. Again, low pressure is a way to the east, pulling in the wind. From a cool and showering northwesterly direction. And we keep things pretty unsettled with the GEM all the way up to day 10, although by day 10 itself, Saturday 8th of July, just a hint that the high pressure begins to start getting going over France again, possibly starting to allow something a bit warmer or hotter come up from the south. And then the ECM looks like this with low pressure in off the Atlantic being showery northwesterly winds through the weekend and into the beginning of next week as well, looking quite unsettled with the ECM. Just by day 10, a little bit of a hint of height starting to rise from the south, maybe taking things a little bit drier and warmer across the south by day 10, 8th of July. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometro.com. So here's the wet weather that we could have tonight and tomorrow morning in the south. We've got this looks very useful for uh, my garden, <laughs> along with lots of other gardens in uh, the east and south Midlands and East Anglia, central, southern, south, east and England. It pushes away way through tomorrow morning to leave us with the showery conditions away to the north and west and then we go on into the weekend you see most of the wet weather is in the north and west but not too much wet rain getting into southeast until we get to the middle of next week and then things starting to get more unsettled even across the more southern parts of the country with heavy showers and or longer spells of rain just about going a bit drier again by day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble day 4, day 10. Gets us to the 8th of July. 30 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to the north and some high pressure out in the Atlantic. That brings the wind in from a westerly direction. So we have showery conditions with that. We've got 16 with low pressure again to the north, northwest, bringing in most showery westerly winds. And then we've got five with some higher pressure just away to our east, low pressure out to west. That's the warmest option. We'll be bringing up winds from more of a southerly direction. Of course, this low might be the trigger for some thunder in two weeks' time. These are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 13th of July. 22 members of the ECM on songs with low pressure over to the east of the country. High pressure in the Atlantic winds coming in from the northwesterly direction. We've got 20 with high pressure towards Greenland and over France. Probably some sort of lower pressure uh, through the North Atlantic. And then 9 with high pressure close to the country and into the North Atlantic as well. So that's the most settled option. Um, none of those options are especially warm, I don't think. But, of course, the high pressure here, this would be the warmest, probably, um, given the time of year and the strength of the sunshine. We may be seeing a trend here towards higher pressure into the second week of July, but it looks a little bit flimsy at the moment, as you expect, given that we're talking about 10 days or more away. Um, CFSB2, finally, these are 5 foot millibar height, and on to breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 28th of June to the 4th of July, becoming week has low pressure to the north. High pressure is out in the Atlantic. Winter coming in from a northwest direction, so it looks a little bit cool and showery in the week here. Week 2, also looking a little bit cool and showery. It's fit to be 11th of July, with some lower pressure coming in the Atlantic and away to our northeast. Well, high pressure is blocking around uh, Greenland. And then week three, three <laughs> sees a bit of change. It's as well to the 18th of July. Some higher pressure beginning to get going just to our east. Might start allowing some sort of a southeasterly flow to establish. That could bring hotter air in there through the middle part of July. That perhaps maintaining to week four, 19th to 25th of July. Again, high pressure is away to our south and east. Uh, probably some sort of lower pressure through here. And uh, so we could be bringing in, bringing in the wind from like a southerly, southwesterly direction. Um, and it might be a little bit on the volatile side as well. We would have to wait and see until closer to the time frame. So maybe this July, coming July, is going to pan out similar to June. Remember, June did have a cold of an average, cool of an average CT for the first week. So up to the end of the first week, it was actually running around a degree below average. And then, of course, we got really extreme high temperatures for June through weeks two and three, which absolutely rocketed 
seating and that's how we're coming away with one of the warmest dunes if not the warmest dune or certainly one of the warmest dunes for seating on record so it remains to be seen it remains to be seen but it, maybe july will pan out similar we shall see okay uh we're done thank you so much everybody for tuning in if you have enjoyed this video please like share subscribe all of that good stuff thank you so much everybody for getting that we've put on around 18 17 or 18 subscribers to get ourselves to um, 16.4k, so if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. So, as I said, I'm going to have a night off. I want to see uh, Rod in Northampton, Sir Rod. So, um, that means that uh, I'm not going to be doing a 6 a.m. forecast when I get home. So, instead of that, we will have no 6 a.m. forecast tomorrow, and uh, the content will pick up a little bit later on in the morning with the uh, European Outlook, and that will be followed by the uh, 10 to 14 day as well. So, you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. I'm going to get myself ready to go and see uh, Rod. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll let you know tomorrow how it all goes. So, uh, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. But for this video, that's all now. And thanks so much.